Hi everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Suman Karamuri, and uh, thanks for giving me this opportunity to speak here. Uh, so today I'm going to talk about how we added log analytics capabilities to CalDB using DuckDB. Uh, and a uh, little bit about me, I'm a principal engineer at Airbnb, and uh, I love building large-scale observability and distributed systems. Uh, so let's look at like the motivation for what we're trying to do here. Uh, so let's say you have a bunch of services in your company. Uh, you have service A, which produces very structured logs and those the users want to run like uh, analytics queries on that data. And uh, let's say you have another service B, which produces semi-structured logs and people often run search queries on that data. But today uh, you can't use a single logging system for both of these use cases. Uh, so people either make a compromise or they just use two different systems. And when they use two different systems in practice, uh, this leads to data fragmentation or uh, different data sets. And it also lacks an ease of use because you have to learn a different query language, a different UI, and an entirely different stack. So uh, let's dig into this a little bit. So for something like service A, typically uh, you would, uh, which has structured logs or events and where you're doing some high performance analytics queries or simple group buys and aggregations and count stars on a few columns, columnar stores are really great, right? Like DuckDB. Uh, whereas if you're doing a lot of searching or lightweight, some lightweight aggregations and counts, you want to use something like Lucene. And these are like two different worlds in general and these two different uh, storage engines have different uh, performance characteristics and like IO characteristics and so on. So, uh, the, the insight is very simple. Hey, like, can I use one system for both search and analytics instead of using two, right? So the idea uh, is CalDB Polystore. But let's see first, the first part of it, what, what exactly is CalDB? CalDB is basically currently the only Lucene-based cloud-native uh, distributed observability database. Uh, it employs a disaggregated storage architecture. Uh, it runs on Kubernetes and has a very low operational overhead. Uh, and best of all, it's open source. Uh, it's a drop-in replacement for Elasticsearch, so we have the same uh, query API and currently in just API. Uh, and uh, it's designed for uh, petabyte scale workloads, and uh, it's up to it's faster and up to 10x cheaper than open search. Uh, at a super high level, what Cal, the, how CalDB works is it ingests the data from uh, Kafka uh, in the indexer. The indexer indexes the data into a Lucene index, and it can serve queries on it. And periodically, it snapshots those Lucene index to a deep store, like S3. And then there is a cache layer, which downloads these snapshots, and then serves queries against that. There is a query layer, uh, which gets the client queries, runs scatter-gather aggregation across the indexer and cache nodes, and returns responses to the user. So uh, CalDB uh, is currently, uh, well, at least as of September last year, uh, where I was at Slack before, well, was managing about a petabyte of data across three clusters, and we were doing seven days of retention for the log data. Uh, we were ingesting around seven million messages per second at peak. Uh, and there's a link to some of the talks I gave there. Uh, and uh, the problem with CalDB, at least as of today, is uh, because it uses Lucene, it's great for search and lightweight analytics, but it's not so great for uh, analytics and it's expensive and it's slow. So enter CalDB Polystore and here is the big idea. The big idea is we just want to use one uh, log search system, one system for both log search and analytics and the way we do that is by building a pluggable storage engine. Uh, the pluggable storage engine, uh, uh, the two we have are one is Lucene, the other one is DuckDB. Uh, the advantage of CalDB is you uh, users get the same query language and can use the same UI in, independent of the storage uh, they're using for querying their data. And uh, the other advantage, uh, at least CalDB I think brings to the table for DuckDB, is it provides a disaggregated storage architecture on top of DuckDB and provides like a scatter gather mechanism. And uh, currently, uh, this is probably like one of the most uh, uh, immature talks in this uh, entire evening. Uh, we are still early, so but uh, as we are implementing this, uh, we have run into like a few challenges. I thought this will be like uh, like a week, right? Uh, but no, this is. Uh, I, I thought everything would be easy, and it would be uh, it would be easy. Uh, very naive, but once I started doing it, I ran into a lot of issues. Uh, one of the issues is uh, mapping the semantics between Lucene and. Uh, 
uh, DuckDB was a little bit of a challenge. Uh, there were things that Lucene does better and there are things that column stores do better. Uh, the other thing is uh, schemaless ingestion. So logs by nature have no schema. Uh, they don't conform to any schema. So, but uh, DuckDB needs a strict schema. So mapping uh, logs to into a uh, flexible schema for DuckDB uh, was another challenge. The, typically what you do is you create like a bunch of columns and then you do uh, an initial layer of mapping, right? Uh, that was the first thing I tried, but apparently that doesn't work because what I've found is uh, as you have more columns, even with the bulk ingest API, DuckDB's ingestion throughput kind of like falls pretty rapidly. Uh, I don't know why this is. Uh, that's one of the things I wanted to find out today evening. Uh, and uh, <laughs> and uh, uh, the other thing was uh, implementing distributed scatter gather is also not easy. Uh, well, it's easier with Lucene, but the thing with DuckDB is DuckDB has its own response format and we need to map it to whatever we have inside CalDB, which are like uh, sometimes like Lucene internals intermediate format. So we need to like do that. And once we do that, everything will work, at least in theory for now. Uh, and uh, that's that's the other area where we are kind of struggling. So uh, I would love help and advice on how to achieve this and how to achieve this in a week if possible. <laughs> and uh, thank you for your time. And uh, thanks you for giving me this opportunity. <laughs>